This is GMS South Holland coming back to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem El Shai, Bashem Kadash. Before I start off, I want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh Bashem El Shai, Bashem Kadash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect out there that's spreading this word of sincerity and truth all over the four corners of the earth. I'm the brother Tasaba. Okay, coming with a quick lesson quick thoughts of this morning okay concerning the scripture over here they ain't gonna be too long just gonna give some input concerning it okay let me highlight it real quick okay so it says Luke chapter 19 verse 13 and he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them occupy Till I come. So the title of this lesson is going to be The Grind Don't Stop, man. The Grind Don't Stop. It says, Occupy till I come. Okay? Now, what is an occupation? Let's go into that word occupation. <clears throat> okay? The word occupation, it says, An activity that serves as one's regular source of livelihood of uh, a vocation okay that's an interesting word also to go into an activity engaged in especially as means of passing time and advocation the act or process of holding or possessing a place the state of being held or possessed invasion conquest and control of a nation or territory by foreign armed forces the military government exercising control an occupied nation or territory so it goes into a profession man it says a person's regular work or profession job principal activity the act of occupying okay so let's go into that word vocation right the word vocation it says a regular what the fuck is this? It says a regular occupation, especially one for which a person is particularly suited or qualified. Okay, did not Yahweh Bashem Yahushai choose you? Okay, from out, from out of all these jakes that are in the world, the Heavenly Father has picked you to understand His truth. Okay, to see and know what the scriptures is all about from all these jigs that are in the world okay i always tell these brothers in uh, in germany like listen man <clears throat> from all the jigs that are in germany he only chose y'all three to know this truth you know how beautiful that is because germany is a big ass country man you know the most i is like let me take these two out of this family which is the brother Tazawa and Kabar. They're out of the same family. And then you got the brother Yaikwab, the camp leader. You know, setting everything up, man. So that's how it is set up. And like I said, man, as big as the country is, those three men are holding it down. You understand? So it's a special thing to realize. So with that comes the fact that you need to occupy till the Lord comes back, man. Keep doing the work. Keep doing this profession that you are qualified for. The most I looked at you and deemed you worthy of his Holy Spirit to teach and to know this truth. To know and to teach this truth. Let me just put it like that. Because if you know this truth, that doesn't necessarily mean that you are teaching it already. Okay? But it's a build-up, man. So occupy till I come, man. Perform this job that you are qualified for. Don't slack and don't neglect, okay, the gift that is given unto you. Let's go into that. <clears throat> okay. This is First Timothy chapter... 4 verse 14 neglect not 
the gift that is in thee, which was given thee by prophecy with the laying on of the hands of the presbytery. Okay? Neglect not the gift that is in thee. So, you should not deal with this truth in a way that you don't find it um, interesting enough. Meanwhile, the, the spirit is given unto you, the gift is given unto you to understand this truth. You can just toss it to the side. And you cannot toss it to the side because, yeah, the scripture says uh, there will be a famine of the word anyway. Nah, man. You don't decide when the famine of the word kicks in. Occupy till the Lord comes, man. Just keep doing the work. You understand? And the funny thing is that when the when the famine of the word does kick in, the word the work don't stop neither, man. You still gotta be on fire, helping your neighbor, helping your brother. Okay, go through this this time of affliction, man. Going through this time of affliction, you still gotta help one another, man. You still gotta keep your focus towards your Abashimi Shai, cause because the times are evil, man. Like it says, perilous times are, are, are ahead. You understand? You got to keep going, man. Ain't no stopping with the work. The work is still there, man. Knowing these scriptures, applying these scriptures in the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay? Trying to reach out to your neighbors, man. To your brothers. That you that you used to stand with in this, in this truth, man. In the camps. Trying to reach out to them, man. Okay? Because the times are evil, man. Okay, that's why I always mention also to the brotherhood, like, the time that we have with each other, we should cherish it, man. Because it might be the case that um, during the time of Jacob's trouble, we ain't, we ain't going to be able to see each other, you understand? That might be the case, man. You understand? Now, that, that might seem to be a light thing to, to consider at the moment. But when you out there, you know, as pilgrims in the earth trying to survive, you wish you had the other Akiyam around you, man. You understand? So cherish the time that you have with each other right now, man. It's very important. Okay, so it says, neglect not the gift that is in thee. So if we go into the word neglect, okay, like we did many times. Okay, it says to be careless can't be careless concerning this truth, man. Okay? You can't be like, oh, family of word is coming anyway. Nah, man. Because the scripture I always pull concerning that mentality is Hebrews 4, man. That 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 keep you in check, man. Hebrews 4 finna keep you in, <laughs> keep your ass in check. Okay? Hebrews 4 and 1. Let us therefore fear, lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest, any of you should seem to come short of it. Okay? Is that what you want, man? Is that what you want? I always give this explanation, man. Like <clears throat> certain exams for school here in Holland, you need to pass with a seven. Okay, grade seven. But it's possible that you have a 6.9. They don't give a shit, man. 6.9, it has to be a 7. You got a 6.9, they don't give a shit. You need to have a 7. You understand? Is that how you want to be when the when the Lord comes, man? Is that how you want to be? You want to have a 6.9? He wants, he requires you to have a 7. He toss your ass in the fire, man. Okay? So that's that fear, man, that you're supposed to have. You have to be fearful to actually not make it at the end, man. You come in the end and you are not the cho you are not chosen for salvation. Okay, eventually. Because you 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 stopped working, you stopped doing the work too early. On your own accord. Meanwhile, the Lord said, Occupy until I come. That's how important it is, man. Like like I just mentioned, the title of the lesson, The Grind Don't Stop, man. Okay?
know why it keeps asking this dumb shit. Okay? So it says... Uh, yeah, let me just go straight to the point, man. Because I ain't got too much time. And... Uh, because I'm almost at the job. So it says Luke 13 and... Uh, 27 but he shall say I tell you I know you not when she are depart from me all ye works of iniquity because it says in the last days some such a Lord Lord did we not eat in thy presence open unto us and he shall answer and say unto you I know you not when she are so some shall say Yahweh shy Yahweh shy have we not stand in thy presence? Have we not did, done the work? For, for when? For what period of time? You know, the, the period of time that you yourself saw fit or that I saw fit. So the Lord is going to say, man. Um, let me see. Uh, where was I? Yeah, here. Depart from me. Uh, uh, but he shall say, verse 27, but he shall say, I tell you, I know you not. When she are, depart from me, all ye workers of iniquity. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. When ye shall see Abraham and Isaac and Jacob and all the prophets in the kingdom of the Most High, and you yourself trust out. This is the fear that you're supposed to have, man. All the brothers, all the people that you done seen while doing the work, Occupying, okay. Keep pushing, keep grinding for your Shai. Because what does a what does a, a millstone do? What does a great millstone do? It grinds, it grinds the mill. <laughs> you understand? So here we at Great Millstone, we make sure that we keep grinding, man. Okay. The prophecy in in Ecclesiastes 12 says the grinding shall cease, meaning the work is going to stop. The physical work in this world, but we don't stop working for your Abba Shem Shai until he's here. That's something that, that you gotta consider, man. That's something that you gotta put inside of your greasy head. You understand? Make sure that you that you that you you know fasten this 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 deal in your head, man. Okay? Because yes, the word religion does go into <clears throat> being bound. Okay, now what are we bound to? We are bound to this truth. We are bound to this work. We are bound to Yahweh Shem Shai. Okay, until he comes. And beyond that, uh, you know, like in the kingdom, we are going to be bound unto Yahweh Shem Shai, man, until an eternity. Okay, that's just what it is. Until an eternity, we will be bound unto Yahweh Shem Shai. Okay? An everlastingness. So pray to Yahweh Shem Shai that he keeps giving you his food of knowledge. Okay? That he keeps giving you plenteousness, understanding, the will, the spirit to keep pushing, man. Okay? Pray to Yahweh Shem Shai for that spirit of diligence, man. So with that, I want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh, Shemiah, Shabbat, Shemiah, Kakadash, Shalom to the elect.